Hello, sports fans and out-of-the-park baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, we are bringing you the last game of my Royals season. And uh, as you can see down here in the corner, we are 58-103, and 103, the worst team in the league, in the major leagues. Um... Our offense is 30th, ranked 30th. Our defense is ranked, uh, our ERA defense is 27th. We're 26th in average. We're 28th in home runs. And uh, we're 30th in defensive efficiency. So we are very, very bad. I may even be fired after this season is over. But if I'm not... I will be bringing you the Royals off-season and our off-season moves to see what we can do. That would be the next video after this, but this is going to be to play the last game of the season. And so we are going to get on with that for the moment, and uh, you can see we have a full roster out there. This is the last game, so uh, Logan Porter is running down. He... Um, took over at catcher because we lost Selvi for the remainder of the season to injury and um, we will have Eric Lauer on the mound today. So our lineup is going to be Michael Massey at second leading off, Bobby Witt Jr. at third batting second, Logan Porter the catcher will bat third, Vinny Pasquatino at first base will bat in the cleanup spot, Matt Veerling will be the DH today, Gavin Cross will be in right field batting sixth, Diego Hernandez will be the center fielder batting 7th. And MJ Melendez will be the left fielder batting 8th. And that brings us to Uguay Rosario, the shortstop, batting ninth. And uh, for Cleveland, they will have Brian Rocchio leading off and playing 2nd base. Stephen Kwan will bat 2nd in center field. Juan Soto. Yes, the Guardians have Juan Soto in this version of our game. We'll be in right field batting third. Josh Bell will be the first baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Angel Martinez will be the shortstop batting fifth. George Valera will be the DH batting sixth. Ahmed Rosario will be the left fielder batting seventh. And uh, we got Gio Urshela at third base batting eighth with Cam Gallagher, their catcher, batting ninth. And Tristan McKenzie on the mound for them. Now, you might be noticing the different setup, the different look. That is because I am using Out of the Park 25. I imported my Kansas City uh, Out of the Park 24 playthrough into the 25 game after I bought the 25 game. So we kept everything going and... Uh, We'll see how that helps. If it doesn't, um, we'll see what go, what go how it works. So, got Michael Massey leading off. We're in Cleveland and uh, batting against Tristan McKenzie. We're going to get a nice look at the Guardians ballpark. And then we're going to zoom in on home plate. And Massey is going to be out, it looks like. Yep, he was out, flew out to left. The second batter will be Bobby Witt Jr. That's our main man. And he is going to fly out to left field. So we've had the first two batters fly out to left, which brings up our catcher, Logan Porter. And he is going to strike out. And so we went one, two, three in the first. Which brings Eric Lauer out to the mound for us. He has a 505 earned run average on the year and a 10 and 7 record. Uh, but we got him at some point during the season. I don't think we started the season with him. So um, we will see what happens here. He allows the first guy to get a base hit. And that brings to the plate. Stephen Kwan. And Stephen Kwan is going to bunt the ball, but it, he bunts it in the air and the first baseman catches it for one out. Juan Soto, very dangerous Juan Soto, is up to plate. And we're just going to hit him. <laughs> Lauer says, I'm not, you know what, I don't want any part of you. We're just going to hit you and put you on first base. And so there's two on with 
one out, and that'll be a fly to center. And that's two down quickly. Not really that quickly, but two down. And Angel Martinez, their shortstop, is the next batter. And he is going to swing at the third the third strike, and he's going to be out. Okay, we got him. Nice. So the Guardians get nothing in the first, and uh, Vinny Pasquitino comes up at the second inning. It'll be interesting to see if I keep my job after this, because we're going to win, even if we beat Cleveland, we're only a going to have won 79 games in my second season and in my first season we only won 70. Now of course I'm not the general manager I'm just the manager and given the team that they gave me um, there's a base hit for Pas I believe Pasquitino and Gavin Cross is the batter with only one out and he is going to be out on a great play again by the left fielder for the Guardians. So there is two down now, and Diego Hernandez is the batter, and he is going to walk. So that brings up MJ Melendez. And MJ Melendez is going to hit a... He's going shopping at the gap, and he gets a nice base hit that drives in at least one run. And did we get two out of that? Yes, we did. So it's 2 nothing us. 2 nothing good guys, and Rosario is the batter. And Rosario is going to pop out to third. So we do get two runs, though. So we've got, we got two runs for Lauer. And we don't have to worry about um, burning, up, burning through the bullpen or any of that because this is the last game of the season. So it's all hands on deck. And there is an out on the first batter of the uh, Guardian second with Ahmed Rosario, the batter. And he's going to strike out. So there's two down quickly, and that brings up Ursula. And he is going to strike out. So we get out now. We did get out of that inning quickly. So we're going to the third inning with a 2 nothing lead. And Michael Massey back at the top of our lineup is where we are. And Massey looks like he's going to ground out, and he does. Which brings up Bobby Witt Jr. And Bobby Witt Jr. is going to fly out. And that brings up Logan Porter. And Logan Porter is going to pop out, foul out to third base. We get no runs there, but we still have the 2 0 lead with Lauer on the mound pitching pretty well here. Cam Gallagher, the bottom of their lineup, is up and he is going to ground out to third base. So there's one down for the Guardians. And with one down, we go to the top of their lineup and Rocchio. And Rocchio looks like he'll ground out to second base for two down quickly. Here in the Guardians third and Stephen Kwan. And Stephen Kwan is going to line that to left field for probably a double. And uh, so we have to make sure that we buckle down here and not let uh, Kwan score because there's two outs. You want to get the batter out and get out of this with Juan Soto, the batter, and Juan Soto, I mean, I almost thought about walking him, but he got a base hit, looks like. Yeah, an infield base hit, which I'll take from, from Juan Soto. And then you got Josh Bell, the first baseman, not a real big contact guy. And he just pops it out in front of the... Did we get him? No, he's safe, so they scored the run. Josh Bell beat that out. He just hit a little nubber in front of the plate. And um, our catcher couldn't get him. So that'll bring up Angel Martinez. Angel Martinez is going to fly out to center. But the Guardians did strike for a run when our catcher could not throw out Josh Bell at first base on a nubber in front of the plate. Pasquatino is up here in the top of the fourth. 
And that looks like that's going to be a nice base hit to center field. Little base knock. Let's see if we can do something with it. Next batter is Verling. Now, Verling is a pretty good hitter. I want to let him hit. But he does fly out to left field. There is one down, and Gavin Cross is the batter, and that's going to get past the catcher, but not far enough for Pasquatino to advance to second, so Cross is still at the plate, and that time he just hit the, he just gets a base hit and moves Pasquatino to second. So we got runners at first and second with one man out and Diego Hernandez up, and Diego Hernandez is going to hit into a fielder's choice. So runners are at the corners, now with two down, and MJ Melendez, the batter. And he struck out? He struck out. Yeah, I don't think he even knew that he struck out. So we have a 2-1 lead. We take that slim 2-1 lead to the bottom of the fourth with uh, Lauer still out there dealing, and he strikes out the first batter. That brings up Ahmed Rosario. And Ahmed Rosario is going to pop out to the catcher, foul out to the catcher. There is two down quickly, and the next man is out on a great catch. So uh, we are at the plate and hopefully we can score some runs here that's going to be a ground out to third though and uh, Michael Massey we're back at the top of the lineup we're still holding the 2-1 lead though and that's going to be an out so there's two down quickly and Bobby Witt Jr. up and he is going to pop out to second base. So we hold the 2-1 lead. And we're going to the bottom of the fifth. Lauer is still out there for us. He's still out there dealing. And that is going to be an out. And with one down, nobody on. Rocchio, the top of their lineup. That's going to be a ground out to first, so Lauer is pitching well. He's pitching like a champ here, trying to get us a win in our last game of the season and save my job, maybe. And uh, that's going to be a ground out to the pitcher, and he does throw him out. So we go to the bottom, we go to the, uh, we go to the top of the sixth. Top of the sixth here. McKenzie is still out there, and why not? I mean, he's pitching just as well as Lauer is. And our catcher, did he go deep? No, he flew out to left. So there's one down quickly, and Pasquatino is the batter, the first baseman. And he is going to pop out to second base, and that brings up Veerling. And Veerling is going to strike out, so... We don't get any more runs there. It looks like Lauer is going to have to hold this, hold the fort down him all by himself here if we're going to bring this home. That's going to be a great catch in left field by the uh, left fielder. And with one down, you've got Josh Bell up at the plate. So that was Soto. Soto is not having a good day. And that is a strikeout for Josh Bell. And up steps Angel Martinez. And he is going to walk. So he walks Angel Martinez. Got some gas in the tank here a little bit still, Lauer does. And that's going to be a ground ball to third base. And that'll be an out. And we are still leading in this game 2-1. to one, Last game of the season. And uh, Gavin Cross is the batter. And he swings really late on that and strikes out. Which brings up Diego Hernandez. 
And Diego Hernandez is going to ground out to second, so there's two down quickly here in our seventh inning. And MJ Melendez is the batter, and he strikes out. So again, we send Lauer out there, and he's going to have to hold him down. I'm, I'm surprised that he, he even had enough gas in the tank to get to the seventh. Usually these starters nowadays don't even get to the seventh, but that's going to be a tie game right there. Rosario drove the ball high and out of the park, and now we're in a tie game. It is two all with Ursula the batter. And Ursula is going to rip this, rip a base hit to right field, which brings up Cam Gallagher, the last guy in the lineup, the ninth, the number nine man. And there's two strikes on him, and he strikes out. So, Lauer is just about out of gas here, but we're going to try to get him through this inning with Rocchio, the top of the lineup. That's going to be a pop-out to first base. So there's two down with a man at first, and Stephen Kwan is the batter. And Stephen Kwan is going to fly out to right. So that's good. We're going to get somebody up in the bullpen. Again, we don't have to worry about burning through the bullpen. We can do that to our heart's content. We'll get Adam Morgan up. He's a guy that had some uh, ability to go a few innings. And uh, Rosario is the batter. And that's going to be a strikeout on the inside part of the plate. Michael Massey back to the top of the order for us. And by the way, they have a new pitcher out there. And their pitcher is Hector Neris. Hector Neris, uh, in real life, uh, current or uh, formerly of the Philadelphia Phillies, and that's an out, so we're going to go right to the pen. Again, you know, I might try to see if I could move, get a, a couple more outs, an out or two more out of Lauer if this were earlier in the season, but right now there's no need to do that. So we're going to bring in Morgan. And... Uh, Morgan on the year with a 309 earned run average. So he has pitched very well so far. Let's hope he can keep doing that for us. Oh, there's that's got to be an error on the first baseman, Pasquatino, right there. Because he should have had that. Um, and Angel Martinez is the batter. And that's going to be... Uh, uh, that's got to be... I don't know what that is. I mean... It was maybe a base hit, but I, I think the second baseman should have had that. Anyway, we've got uh, George Valera, the DH. That'll hopefully be, no, That we're just going for the one out here. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why we didn't try to turn the double play, but there is two outs. So if Morgan can get Ahmed Rosario... Will be out of that, and he can't. So he allows a base hit to left field, and was that was that an out? Yeah, it was an out on the second guy, but they took a three to two lead. So the Guardians have a three two lead, and we have Porter batting here in the as a first batter of the ninth inning for us. And uh, they're going to bring in a new pitcher. And they, he strikes out Porter. The new pitcher being Emmanuel Classe. Their closer. And he is going to ground out to first. So it doesn't look like we're going to win this game. And it, it looks so promising early on. And Veerling is the batter. And Veerling strikes out. And so that is going to be it for us. And... Uh, Guardians beat Kansas City 3-2. I'll let you take a quick look at the uh, box score. 
see how everybody did. Lauer pitched his butt off, but we just didn't have the offense for him today. So we're going to leave the game and uh, finish today and let's see what player transaction news this is. Well, I don't really, I don't think it really matters what the news is because the season's over. And as you can see, the playoffs will begin. Um, actually, I, you know what? I think we will. Let's try to go through the uh, playoffs. Yeah, we'll quick play the playoffs. And so we're going to go to November 3rd and see what that gets us. Looks like it's going to be the Twins and the Guardians in the AL and the, yes, it's and it looks like them it's the Mets. Well, wait a minute. Let's let's do this. Let's go here. The Mets against the Twins and it's tied 2 to 2. The series is. So now the Mets are up 3 games to 2. And we're going to uh going to do this and I think the Twins tied it. Looks like the Twins tied the series. And the Twins are going to win the series. The Twins win the World Series over the Mets, four games to three, and you've got the Minnesota Twins as the world champions. So, let's see. Increased profit. The season is over. Your season score is a one. This is just terrible score. Just a terrible score. Yeah, I know it is a terrible score for me. Not good at all. And so, in the next video, we will go through the post or the postseason and see what we do, what we, who, what players we end up getting, whether I even keep my job or not. But for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z Bob Zolke, signing off.